Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, we are going to be purchasing a brand new horse and it's actually been a very, very, very long time since I've actually done that. I, I have been riding this Missouri Foxtrotter since I've been, was it level 56, level 58 or whatever, and I'm currently 167. It's been months since I've had this horse, and I do like it. The horses in the game, a little dumb from time to time, but it is kind of what it is. However, with the brand new update that we got for Frontier Pursuits, there's actually a brand new addition to the stables. And I was looking at it last night, and before the update, I, I, I had a friend of mine that was like, you need to buy the Black Arabian, you need to buy the Black Arabian. And since the story mode, I really liked my White Arabian, but I had no desire to really go with a Black Arabian because it wasn't really my favorite horse to begin with. Because as soon as I got the Missouri Foxtrotter in story mode, I, would, I was pretty much done and I was content the rest of the game. So, I want to purchase the Criollo version of the horse. And honestly, it looks like it's the same stats for the most part, as the Missouri Foxtrotter. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at it. I'm also going to go ahead and purchase it today. So I do need to buy myself another um, stables slot here. Uh, just at the stables. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to buy a horse. We're going to go into, it's under Multi. And it's going to be down here for Criollo. Now, obviously, if you look at some of the start of the bottom horses, we got Dunn, we got Blue Roan. Um, we've got the, you know, Bay Brittle. This one actually looks really cool. I actually like the way that that one looks. And the stats aren't terrible on it. But if you look at the Bay Frame, which kind of looks like a painted horse to a certain degree. Or we have the Marble, which is pretty, pretty epic looking. Now, this almost looks exactly like the Fox Trotter. And if you look at the stats, because you can, if you look at them, we got Speed is, um nine there and we have acceleration which can go up to uh seven out of ten so not too bad and if we actually look at the missouri fox trotter this is the one that i'm actually using it's almost the exact same thing as it's nine and also seven and it's the same price so virtually the almost the exact same horse just a different uh name i guess but I'm trying to decide if I should go with the bay frame or the marble. I kind of like the marble a little bit better, but it, has, it closely resembles the... Actually, I really wish that I could go with uh, this one. Uh, which one was it? This one, the bay. But I don't like the stats on it as much. And I really actually dig this, uh, this gray one here, the blue. Um, I'm just not sure if I want to go with the marble. But I think this is the one that I'm going to go with. But these two are pretty much exactly the same. So it really does not matter. So let's go ahead and purchase one of these. You know what? Since this one really resembles the Missouri Fox Trotter, I kind of want to give the distinct look of something a little bit different. So I think I'm actually going to go with the Bay Frame. Just to kind of give that variety, just because so it does look a little bit different. So I can easily tell which horse that I am actually looking at. And then the other thing that I actually did come up with is I did come up with kind of an interesting name for this and you guys are going to laugh at it so we're going to go ahead and buy this one um once i actually can buy more stable slots but so that's the one that we're going to purchase so we do need to purchase an unowned stall so we're going to have to own, buy that for 150 dollars unfortunately and that's going to obviously uh make our daily upkeep at the stables a little bit more so we do have an empty stall now so now we can actually go in and purchase the horse that we're looking at and we're going to go down to the criollo and i'm going to go with the bay frame and we're going to keep the male horse. Um, I mean, we could make it female, but there's really no difference really there. So we're going to go... How much does it cost for gold? 38. So technically, the most expensive horse is still the Black Arabian. But yeah, for this is going to be awesome. So we're going to go ahead and buy this one right here. We're actually going to go with the name Happy Ending. So that one actually... Uh, yeah, that... Yeah, Happy Ending. <laughs> so there we go. We actually purchased it. This is not... Okay, that's 10. I was going to say, that that is not my horse. Um, what I, I kind of want to give it its own saddle. Um, so oh, it's, it's actually a little bit smaller than the Missouri Fox Trotter. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, upgrade him. We're going to start with the saddle. I am 
going to uh, I don't think I want to should I should I buy a new saddle? All right, so I'm gonna go with a uh, Nokadoches saddle or Nakadoches saddle. Um, it's uh, five hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents. I was looking at maybe buying one of the brand new saddles, but I really think that this is the one that I want to purchase after just looking at them. Um, and I'm gonna go with a black and white option. But honestly, if you guys were to look at all these, they're all good in their own way. Um, the regenerates are a little bit better than Nakadachi's saddle, but uh, yeah, I just I just the only one that I really like the way that it looks is actually the Delgado one. Or the Del yeah, the Delgado one. Um But I'm I don't know. It's just not something that I think I'm definitely gonna go with the Nakadoche saddle again, so And we're gonna go with the white one, the white and black is what I'm gonna purchase. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this one. This is another five hundred dollars and twelve cents down the drain. Um, we're obviously gonna put saddlebags on them. We're gonna put upgraded ones, why not? And we're gonna go with the snow and charcoal. And then we also we actually have to purchase um, some better stirrups as well, which we're gonna put the best ones on there, which is the drain rate up 50%. Um, they're by far the by far the best ones, but they're 140 dollars, 144 to be exact. That's gonna give us the best speed and acceleration that the horse can actually handle. Um, we're gonna go with the just I think we're actually just gonna leave the horn because it really doesn't matter which one we actually purchase. Um, these are all just purely cosmetic based there's no rhyme or reason why we'd actually need to purchase any of these so i did purchase the padded wool bedroll the stone I, these are honestly all purely um cosmetic base i kind of want to purchase the the lantern though i kind of want to put that on the front of the horse and there's the mask and i'm not a big fan of any of them to be completely honest i know that people you know find them fun and whatnot but i think that's everything with this horse that we're uh going going to hold go ahead and uh, actually use so we're gonna start using this thing and i'm actually gonna go with the appearance i want to kind of change the mane a little bit let's uh that's natural we got short long i think i actually might go with a long mane here yeah i kind of like that that one's pretty good and then I think I'm going to go for the tail, and we're going to go with the long tail. And the same thing, we're going to go kind of that whitish tail. I think that will look really cool. Together? I think that I actually think that looks really good. And there we go. We have everything that we need for our, our horse now. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the. Oh nope, that we're, we we're, we still have we still have this guy. We need to flee you. Sorry, Shadow Fox. We'll see you later, guy. In another life, perhaps. All right, so let's go ahead and call in happy ending, and let's take a look at what this guy actually looks like. He he is looking absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and put this gun away so we can actually see him. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's looking all kinds of fancy. He's excited to be part of the Lightning Squad team. And I'm super excited to have him. And he looks really good. I think the co the combination of everything looks fantastic. But I believe that this horse might be one of the best horses actually in the game now. Uh, but we'll just have to kind of see how that works out. Obviously, I do have to level him up a little bit. Um, because he is only a level one, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of training. So I decided before actually leaving this video that I wanted to take a look at my guy a little bit in the sunlight, and it's a little foggy now. But this, I have to admit that this this horse does look absolutely amazing. I was able to ride it around a little bit until it got this way, and then of course I brought it over here. And then I got interrupted in uh, real life time, and, uh, and then it got foggy. So I I do apologize for that, but. I do want to let you guys know that I was riding it around a little bit at night from that last little bit of a scene, and it is, it actually handles pretty good. It's not, I mean, it's not elite handling, it's just the standard and whatnot, but I, I do think that this horse is absolutely, absolutely breathtaking, and from the little bit of time that I did uh, ride it around, I definitely recommend that you guys give it a try. 
Um, but the, this coat does not unlock until a little bit later in one of the rolls, just so you guys uh, do know about that. But anyway, um, that is all the time that I have for in today's video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this horse. If you guys have actually purchased this horse and you guys like it, then leave a comment down below because I'd like to actually hear what you guys think about this specific horse. But hopefully you guys did like this video. If you guys did like the video in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.